everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King Speed channel. Alright, we are going to have the multi job function soon. The players can freely switch to any job class. On top of that, we will have two new job class that is the Crusader and the Monk. Players can also switch to this job class if they want to. So, in this video, we are going to show you how the multi job functions work, the requirement, what you need to do, what you should do, and what we know so far. Alright, before we go on further, I want to give a huge thanks to this video sponsor, Plexstone. Plexstone is synonymous with lightweight and endurance gaming gear. Here I want to introduce you to the Plexstone 4 Fire True Wireless Stereo TWS Gaming Earbuds with Microphone. Plexstone 4 Fire TWS Gaming Earbuds after full charge can be used for 7.5 hours at a time. With the charging case, the total battery life is 50 hours. The charging case can charge the earphones for 7 times. With the foot first audio effect technology, it amplified the sound especially the footsteps on the grass and wooden floor, which helps gamers find position of the enemy easily, which also make it excellent for shooting game like PUBG. Built in with environmental noise cancelling ENC clear voice microphone, it ensures you with no noise and no echo when chatting to other players. Having 0.045 seconds senseless low latency technology, the game experience transmission with almost no delay. Installed with titanium plated high sensitivity dynamic speaker with 118 decibel high sensitivity sensitivity full of sound hierarchy and detailed expressiveness. It can also better show the enemy's position. The half-in-ear curved surface design fits the ear shape and can be comfortable to wear for a long time. Plexton sent me a unit of these earbuds to try it and I'm using it for quite some time now. The experience so far is fantastic. I am especially impressed with the clear voice and sound quality. You can use my discount code here to get a discount when purchasing the Plexton 4 Fire earbuds using the link at the video description and at the comment section below. Note that when using the code, I will also get a little commission from the purchase. If you are looking for a earbuds, you can try the Plexton 4 Fire Gaming earphone. Now to switch job class, you need to go to the multi job NPC. The multi job NPC is at the Creatura Academy. There are two requirements to switch job. First, your character needs to be a second job class and second, you must be at least job level 30. Talk to the multi job NPC and you can and select a job branch that you want to switch job to. The book of Travers is needed for switching job. Now here is a table showing how many books of Travers are needed for switching job. If you are activating the first three job branch of your selection, you need one book of Travers. If you are activating more to six branches, you need two books. Activating more to nine, you need three. And activating to twelve, you need four books of Travers. Now for SAS server, the second job branch job class for Swordman and Acolyte, the Crusader and the Monk will be available at the same time when the multi-job function is implemented. So you can also switch job to these two classes if you want to try them out. A lot of players ask whether you need to be a priest to switch to Monk or whether you need to be a knight to switch to Crusader. Well, no, you doesn't have to be a priest to switch to Monk or knight to switch to Crusader. You can switch to any of the second job branch from any job classes. All you need is to be a second job class with at least level 30 job level and the book of travels. Now the book of travels is given one free after doing the multi job quest after unlocking the multi job function. So for the first job switch if you want to change job is free. To unlock more job class you need more book of travels. To get more of the book you can get it at the crystal NPC at Alberta City. It is cost 8,888 diamonds which is around 90 to 100,000 crystals if you convert the crystals into diamond at the exchange market. Switching job will have 4 hours cooldown, meaning you can switch back again to the previous job class or other job class that you had unlocked. For that matter, after 4 hours, after switching job, a notice will show up that tells you that the loadouts, main start attribution, equipment, skill points and also the shadow equipment is reset.
had and need to be reconfigured you will still have the exact start points that you have before switching now you just need to relocate the points same goes to the skill points but for the shadow equipment all progress will be reset for the new job you need to reactivate it again you probably will ask but king i am a spear knight and i want to switch to crusader but also using the spear weapon it's technically the same weapon i can use it back so shouldn't the spear shadow equipment be activated for crusader as well well no it will not be activated and you need to activate it again let me show you why this is the shadow equipment for the knight and this is the shadow equipment for the crusader if you look at the spear design both showing different picture different design same goes to the two hand sword beside it i also try switching from knight and crusader and look at the shadow equipment the shadow equipment progress do not carry over now you should probably also think you are knight using the spear and after switching to crusader you want to use two hand sword weapon instead all of the upgrade enchant and refine start for two hand sword will be wasted because normally you can't inherit or transfer all those stats to different type of weapon well good news for all players along with the multi job function you can now transfer the upgrade enchant and refine start to other same type of weapon when i say same type of weapon it means from two hand weapon to two hand weapon one hand to one hand weapon for example here i have a new two hand sword and i have some upgrade and refine start on a two hand spear that i want now i can use the magic furnace to transfer the start but the weapon start transfer come with a cost you need diamonds to transfer the start between weapons the diamond cost is proportional to the weapon start level the higher the upgrade or refine or enchant level the higher the diamonds needed for the start transfer players had reportedly showing you need thousands and even millions of diamonds to transfer the weapon start to other type of weapon this is outrageous this is bad game system this is bad game design although you are freely to switch between job classes for every four hours because of the switching penalty or cooldown at the same time you can't be transferring weapons start every time you switch job because it is ridiculously expensive it makes you wonder if switching job is even the right thing to do all right what do you think of the multi job function if you are considering to change to other job class i suggest that you think over it first especially on the weapon part once the multi job function is available go to the magic furnace and try to transfer the weapon start to the job class weapon that you want to switch into and see if it is something that you can afford if you determine to switch job go for it if you do not have the diamonds to transfer all of the stats but want to switch job nonetheless there is only one thing you can do that is to upgrade define and enchant your weapon from the start all right that's it for this video this time video shout out goes to thank you for always supporting me and this channel if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you will be notified whenever i upload a new video that's it for now i'll see you on the next video and as always happy playing bye bye